Gosh, just watching the, the beautiful waterways is so soothing. Don't you think, Umbreon? I'm sorry, Sephiroth? Yeah, you know what I mean. For a Dark-type Pokemon, you sure love to have a bright side of fun. Hey there, guys! My name is Blake, also known as The Nerd, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Soul Silver. Last time. Oh boy. Last time. Still stuck in my mind like a freaking toothpick inside my tooth. Not that I have any in my tooth right now, just, just a figure of speech. Last time, we took care of Chuck. He completely annihilated us one round, which I only cut into segments, but then we were able to destroy him once and for all in order for us to get the Dynamo Badge. I seriously thought it was Knuckle Badge, because then it would be able to say, Knock Knock, it's Knuckles! But no, it's the Dino Badge, so... We can't say that, unfortunately. So, remember how I said the last time that we would head over here? Well, it looks like if you try to go in here, which leads us to a brand new area exclusive to Pokemon Hard Gold and Soul Silver, we can't do that quite yet. I initially thought you needed just a fifth batch in order to get over here, but turns out you don't necessarily need. Well, you don't ne actually need just a fifth batch. You also, I think, do need the other one. So. In this episode, we, unfortunately, because of that, have no other purpose. Actually, you know what? Let's take a photo. Since we have our newly evolved Oberon, which uh, evolved in the Nidal King last episode, because we have the Moonstone, and I waited for that specific purpose. So why not? Let, let's take a photo to commemorate this honor. Look at that. Our team is even stronger than ever now. Isn't that just great? Yes, yeah, taking the picture successfully. We're on the beach. So, in this episode, we're actually going to head back into... Olivine City, since we also did get the medicine that Jasmine actually needs for us to get. And I figured we should pay her a visit as well and maybe take her on in the gym? Who knows? I think we're actually a bit prepared for this one, so... Actually, no. I think we're well beyond prepared for this one, unlike the other one, which I had to evolve a Pokemon. I think we were more than okay for, um, for this upcoming gym, and... Our two strongest Pokemon are at level 29, so I think we have no problems with that whatsoever. So, luckily enough, we don't need to do all the, um, the obstacle courses of the lighthouse again. We just do this, we could just go up the elevator, step inside, and enjoy some not-so-lovely elevator music because there is no elevator music. Let's take a nice step up. Look at our wonderful Oberon. I think I actually showed you guys because, um... One of the footage was cut out. Look at him, he's so tough, he's so angry. He's so strong and defensive and mean. Also, this lighthouse, not so pretty during the daytime, but at night, oh my gosh, it's the best thing ever. Hello, Jasmine, I have what you're looking for. Will that medicine cure Amphi? I mean, it's worth a shot. Send over the secret potion to Jasmine and see what happens. Um, please don't be offended. Amphi will not take anything from anyone but me. Amphi, how are you feeling? It worked! It's a miracle! It's all light up. I guess you could say it's lit! I'm never saying that again. Oh, I'm so relieved! This is just so wonderful! Thank you so very much! I'll return to the gym. Um, you're... Wait, you could've gone to the... I guess you wanted the view. Ah, eh, why not? Wee 3D view! Wee! Yeah! Alright, that's enough. I'll meet you guys down there. <laughs> um, wait. What? Oh, hi, Blake. This is Warden Balba. Sorry to have kept you waiting. We finally opened the Safari Zone? So all I had to do was go save the White House. And then he'd open the Safari Zone? I thought you had to get the sixth badge in order to do that. Man, my. My mind is just really losing it today for some reason, I don't know why. But, um, with that being said, we're done with the lighthouse, we don't need to go back. So in this episode, we don't have anything else we can do. So, how about we take on the gym? I think we're more than prepared, we got super potions galore, we got lemonades, we got some hyper potions, we got some ethers in case we need it, and we got two Pokemon that easily help us out with this gym. Let's enter this building, and you're back! Jasmine uses steel tap Pokemon. She's trying to hide her tenderness behind her steely coldness. And now, exclusive of the Hard Gold Soul Silver, you might think these guys are trainers, allowing you to train up and level your Pokemon before taking on Jasmine. As you'll see, 
not so much. Thank you for helping the gym leader, but battle is a, a separate matter. Go for it. Yes, you can see they don't actually battle you. They're just there to kind of give you tips and advice and whatnot. There's only two of them. It kind of feels like a gym trainer at the same time, but they're just there to help you, like, thank you. And that's, I, I guess it's a really neat detail. It doesn't really... It doesn't really distract you so much, and it kind of makes sense. You know, a lot of the other gym in the Johto region, a lot of the gyms have trainers. Not so much in the, uh, the Olivine. Olivine's the only one without gym Pokemon Pokemon trainer so it's kind of like that where a couple of people give you a little like little not advice but like thanking you for the lighthouse and you know being happy for you and whatnot so I, I guess it's a nice change of pace but it's kind of a curse at the same time since if you're not up to par with the levels you will need to like go back to like the water routes or up to the other routes in order for you to get the um the levels required so that's also a thing so it I don't know. I'm 50-50 on it. I really am. Anyways, let's talk to Jasmine. Thank you for your help at the lighthouse. But this is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm Jasmine. A gym leader. I use the... Clang. Steel type. You know about the steel type? They're very hard. Cold, sharp, and really strong. Um, I'm not lying. Ah, it's okay. Also, that... For you, that might sound subjective to some people, but we're not gonna talk about it because it's time to take on Gym Leader Jasmine and her Cold Heart Steel Type Pokemon. Starting up with a Magnemite at level 30, yeah, um, even higher than the Primate. Thank goodness none of her moves are actually annoying. It's a, it, it, this is a blessing. With Thunderbolt, Sonic Boom, Supersonic, and Thunder Wave. Okay, I take that back. Supersonic might be annoying, but luckily enough, we're faster than it. So, one dig is all we need. Because the uh, weaknesses of ground typing four times because of gr because of a ground and steel electric combined, it will go for Supersonic Boom. If you have any Pokemon that resists Thunderbolt, if none of your Pokemon resists Thunderbolt, it's going to straight up Thunderbolt. Also, Thunder Wave, for all his reasons. But you should be fine if you have a ground type Pokemon. No problem whatsoever. All right, bring on your second Pokemon. Uh oh! She's sitting on her secondary Pokemon route the bat. Well, um, I was expecting her second Magnemite to come in, but I guess we'll talk about Steelix now. Her main Pokemon at level 35 with Sturdy holding a Citrus Berry. Uh, Sturdy is not like the Sturdy in 5th um, Gen and onwards where it lives anything at 1 HP. With Iron Tail, Rock Throw, Sandstorm, and Screech. Very likely, Steelix doesn't really have the best special defense, so I'm hoping one Fire Blast is enough to knock it out. Please, oh please, don't prove me wrong. Oh! Oh. Oh. Wow. I really should have flame wheel. I definitely miss. Oh. You were going for Sandstorm, anyways. Wait. Is that enough for potion range? I hope not. I really, really hope not. Okay, good. It's not enough for potion range. Thank goodness. Okay. So, Sandstorm is also bad. Not technically for the next upcoming Magnemite. But <laughs> where's that crit? Why did that crit show up now? <laughs> okay, it just really want to make up for that fifth gym apparently. <laughs> but Sandstorm for Steel types is actually a benefit since it actually resists the special defense. Also, alongside Rock and Ground type Pokemon, also getting the benefit of special defense. But luckily, I don't have anything to worry about since her final Pokemon is another Magnemite, and it's the same level. Same ability of Magnet Pulse, so don't bring in any Steel type Pokemon, and the same moveset. So, this gym is a piece of cake! Which, thank goodness, compared to the last gym fight, I actually freaking needed that. If you've not seen the previous episode and the previous gym fight, go check it out because, well, oh, man, it was a doozy. An absolute doozy. I, I'm i actually surprised it went for Sandstorm at Steelix and not Rockstar now looking back at it because. Rockstar at that level would have hurt. I guess she wanted to primar uh, prioritize the Sandstorm first, and then set up the set up the Sandstorm then Rockstar. It's weird. Well done. And we get forty two hundred Poké dollars for that. You are being super generous. You are a better trainer than me in both skill and kindness. In accordance with the league rules, I confer upon you this badge. The mineral badge is handled nice and easily for us. That's what I'm talking about. So much easier than that last badge. Why? I'm sorry, but I am never gonna shut up about that because. Mm, Prime with double team is just a really poor decision, in my opinion. With that badge, all Pokemon, including traded Pokemon, up to level 70, will be you without question. 
I like how it just like paused. That was not intentional, but that <laughs> kind of suits your uh, suits your personality. Um, please take this too. And we get TM23 Iron Tail. It is a 75% accuracy, 100 power move that if it hits, has a chance of either flinching or lowering the defense. I believe it's lowering, the yeah, it's lowering the defense, okay. So, I might have a use for this, though I'm not gonna teach it. Actually, you know what? I think I'm either, I don't know, because I don't know if my, my final Pokemon team member can learn this and whatnot. It's a power, yeah, power 100, 75 accuracy. I'm just not sure, because uh, Sephiroth can learn it, but I'm not gonna teach it Sephiroth. Oberon can learn it, I'm not sure though if I wanna get rid of one of my moves for now for um, Iron Tail instead of Shadow Claw. So I think we'll wait it out a bit and see. It's one of those moves, I'm not gonna sell it right away because I'm obviously going to use it at one point, but I don't, I don't exactly know how I'm gonna use it. It's the thing. So, that is it. Of course, I do want to check to see if the Pokemon fly away, um, the legendary Pokemon. Uh, yeah, they're pretty far away. Holy crap, it's been a while since I've been on land. And now we pay the price of this <laughs> with me, like, trying to hunt these guys down. Well, again, it doesn't matter, but, like, at the same time, I kind of want to know because I'm curious and I'm back on land and I have the right to do so. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna come by anytime soon, but we might as well. We might as well see. We, we found Entei last time. Maybe I can pursue the other legendary Pokemon. I'm hoping I actually don't catch it at the same time because that would be kind of a disbenefit if I like just catch, if I actually successfully catch one of these legendaries in like um in a Great Ball. I don't have very many left, and I just have them just in case they so happen to show up like randomly throughout. Like this isn't random whatsoever, but. I just felt like doing it. Holy freak, they're close. What about now? Mm, this is like not approaching that area for some reason. I seriously gotta stop this. This, this might be annoying to some of you guys, and I heavily apologize if this is like not what you're expecting to, for like the end. But we're back on land. We should be able to at least encounter one of these guys, like, please? Like, in the, the, the little area one? I don't know. I feel like I'm just wasting time doing this, but... Yeah, I better leave it off before I get so obsessed with, like, trying to see if there's any legendary Pokemon around here that I easily get caught up and get side-distracted, and there's, like, no commentary for, like, 15 minutes of me just trying to do this. So, with that... I'm gonna go ahead and leave off this episode of Pokemon Soul. Oh, never mind. Um, nope. Never mind. Um, Raikou is nearby. Raikou is nearby. Um, I'll go up to Raikou and I'll sign up the episode as we do that. Okay, so we restored Ampharos in the lighthouse and we took care of Jasmine very easily. Join us next time in which we now take on the Safari Zone because apparently all it took us to restore the lighthouse and uh, face Jasmine in order to do that. So, if there's any episodes you missed, whether from the past or from the future, because I don't think this Great Ball is going to catch Raikou, make sure you check them out in the playlist down in the description below, the eye in the top right corner, or the upcoming end slate. And of course, Raikou Flood. That, that's kind of what I expected. With all that being said, though, my name is Blake, also known as the Nerd, and I feel satisfied now. We actually got one of the other legendary Pokemon. I'm pretty content with that. So, until we meet again, do remember to take care and also check out the playlist down the screen. Oh no, I, I think I stated that already. Good gosh. You know, it's been quite a long time since I've done all that. Actually, I wonder if I could do this glitch again. That would be pretty cool. Nope, I can't do that, all right. Oh, right, I'm, I'm pushing X instead. Oh, wait! Oh, this is cool. Okay, hold on. As, a, as, as, a, as Oberon's flying off, do remember to take care. Look at him! He's off the ground now! He's flying! He's a flying king! He truly is the king of flying. Take care. <laughs>